how do you hire a good copywriter? One that meets deadlines, has good communication, and actually over delivers, it doesn't underperform like a lot of them do. Now, if you stick around in this video, I'll be showing you how to do exactly that because my name's Carmen and I've been copywriting for over eight years. I've worked with Neil Patel, Dan Locke, GoDaddy, you name it, tons of really big brands. So I've seen both on the copywriting side and also hiring junior writers, both perspectives and what you should do as a writer and someone hiring writers. And throughout these eight years, I've definitely figured out what to do and what not to do. And when it comes to actually hiring a copywriter, the first thing you need to do is ask for their portfolio or samples, because frankly, nothing is going to speak for their skill and what they're capable of than honestly seeing their writing from the past and for previous clients. So either they're going to have a portfolio website, they might just send you some links to check out. It could be on Google Drive, but they should have a portfolio. If they don't, then of course, they're probably going to be less experienced and you may have to opt for someone that actually has that track record. It's always good if the portfolio is related to what you need personally. For example, if you are a financial business, if the copywriter has finance related pieces in his portfolio, that's awesome. It's super contextual and relevant. But at the same time, it's not a deal breaker in a lot of cases because a good copywriter is going to be a master at researching and figuring out any kind of audience, product, customer, client, and so on. So don't worry if they don't have exactly what you're looking for because that copy and content skill is going to transfer into any kind of other projects. Now that also brings me to the second thing, which is doing a trial period or some kind of small project together. For example, if you need a 20 page website written, maybe just work on one or two pages. And why you want to do this is one, of course, it allows you to gauge their skill, but also there's a lot of other things that go into it. Like you get to see how they work on Google Drive, with Word docs, with Slack, Trello, whatever kind of tool stack you and the writer use. You get to gauge their workflow, their communication, and also the personality and the ability to have a real relationship. I don't know about you, but as a copywriter myself and someone that hires junior writers, I have a good relationship, really organic and genuine with everybody I work with. I think it just makes business a lot more positive and uplifting, and it just really focuses on the long term. Thirdly, case studies and testimonials are amazing because a testimonial, whether it's written or video, is going to show you that another business vouches for them and trusts them and had a good experience working with them. So it's always awesome social proof. And then some writers will also have case studies, and these are really nice because they actually show the ROI of their writing, what they're capable in terms of driving performance. And typically it's just gonna outline their experience working with X business, what they did to solve their problem, and then the results it generated. Now, of course, all this implies that you have a writer, um, but if you don't, what I'd recommend you do is actually avoid Upwork and websites like that because it's typically a race to the bottom and you're gonna typically get writers that charge a very cheap and honestly, um, as a writer myself, I recommend that you don't be cheap and you're willing to pay a premium because you get what you pay for and someone that's going to generate a lot of results and revenue for you isn't going to be probably on Upwork or a website like that. They're going to have their own brand, their own site. They might even have a wait list and they are going to charge a premium. Now, if you do need help with copywriting, you can reach out to me for a free consultation. We can talk about growing your business and how I can help you with writing. But that also does bring me to, you can go to websites like Pro Blogger, We Work Remotely, and these remote working websites, freelance writing websites, where you can actually find some pretty decent writers. But do remember, you get what you pay for in a lot of circumstances. Although I would recommend checking out AngelList as well. If you're a startup, you can list a job there for your startup when you're looking for a writer, no matter if it's contract, full time, part time, or even for equity. So just to summarize that up, what I want you to do is to really focus on finding a copywriter that of course is within your budget, but don't be afraid to spend a lot of money and pay a premium for a writer that actually can generate really good results. They have great communication. You can form a long-term relationship with them. They're professional, they nail deadlines and everything that you want. If you're not experiencing those things with a copywriter, odds are you might be actually shooting a little bit too low and you actually spent a little bit more once again spend that premium on a really good writer. Now, you're gonna find them on their own branded websites. You might find them through social media, LinkedIn, searching for them through Google. Although don't be afraid to use WeWork Remotely, ProBlogger, AngelList, and some of these websites because they can be useful for finding really good talent. And then once you do, what I want you to do is look for a good portfolio that can be contextual to your niche and your audience preferably, but it doesn't always have to be because a lot of those copywriting skills can be transferred to any industry. And then I'd also recommend that you do some kind of trial period or small project together just to make sure that you work well and that everything meshes in terms of communication, workflow, things like that. 
And then thirdly, of course, look for testimonials and case studies. It's always really good social proof and it can make you really confident in the person you're choosing. Now that sums up today's video though. Really appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Once again, you can reach out to me for a free consultation if you want to talk about copywriting and the services I do to grow my clients and businesses. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.